Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video we'll be covering how to install and manage mods for Persona 5. I'm not going to show you how to create any mods from scratch in this video, but if you want to see some tutorials on that, let me know in the comments. Mods are applied with a mod.cpk file, and while it's quite simple to run mods once you have this file, only a few mods are readily available in this format. Furthermore, you can only use one mod.cpk file at a time. So if you download two different mods in this format, you'll only be able to use one of them. Thankfully, most mods available for download are formatted to be used with a tool called the Mod Compendium. This program was created by RPCS3 contributor TGE, and we can use it to create our own mod.cpk file with multiple mods active at once. Now before we get started, you'll need to have patched your game and enabled mod support. If you haven't done this yet, Check out my video on how to patch your games and then come back to this one. Additionally, be sure to download and extract the necessary files from down in the description so that you can follow along with the same tools and mods. Once you've got those squared away, let's jump in. Within the files you'll find a mod.cpk containing the redrawn bust ups mod which fixes the broken character portraits during dialogue. If that's all you want, you can go ahead and open up your Persona 5 game folder, then go to the PS3 game folder and into USR DIR. Then just drag and drop the mod.cpk into this directory and you're set. Now if you want more than one mod, or you downloaded a mod that's not in the cpk format, we just need to take a couple of extra steps using the mod compendium tool. Open up the compendium folder and then jump into this mod folder. This is where we'll put all of our mod files for Persona 5. If we take a look at one of these mods, you'll see that it contains the game data files as well as an XML file containing information about the mod. The compendium will be able to recognize each mod as long as the XML file has the correct data. I've included two mods which are formatted for the compendium. One of them is the Redrawn Bust Ups mod, and the other is a mod to remove the kaleidoscope border in palaces. Go ahead and drag both of these folders into the mod folder. Once you've got both mods moved over, let's head back and open up the compendium tool. Make sure Persona 5 is selected from the drop down menu and you should see your mods appear here. If you want to change where your finished mod CPK file will go, you can go up to settings and change the path here. By default it will go to the output folder in the compendium directory. You can make yours the USR DIR of your Persona 5 game folder if you want to speed up the process a bit. I'm going to put mine on the desktop for the sake of this video. Now before we get too far, you should keep in mind that some mods may affect the same data files. The compendium loads the mods in order from top to bottom, so adjust the order with these arrow buttons as needed. From here, just select the mods you want to put in your CPK file and then hit the build button. Give it a minute, and once it's done, you should see this message. Now just open up the USR DIR folder within the Persona 5 game directory and drag your new mod CPK into it. And that's it, you're all done installing your mods. If this video was helpful, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, compatibility showcases, and emulator updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. 